Internet, what is really, really, really good? You know who it is, it's the one and the only, the triple, the G-O-D. And of course, I'd like to welcome you guys back to another installment of Triple the Guy Speaks on the Yo. This is going to be an interesting weekend, yes. And my broken... What the fuck? No, 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 no. No, I shouldn't use my broken... Bre no, 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 let's not do that. But this is going to be an action-packed and filled weekend. But, however, before we get to the dirt that it is, we actually have to do what we do every week. And by we, I mean me, myself, and I, and them, and they, which is all me, if you haven't been keeping up. And take care of this episode of Ruby, because, yo, I would like to thank the time for thanking everybody's Uncle Crow for explaining to me how sex with faunus works so that I know for future reference. So, this is what we learned in the last episode of World of Remnant. If I, that is me, have sex with a faunus girl, real hot faunus girl, preferably bunny because I have a preference, or cat woman, you know what I'm saying? That's a Felicia thing, but human and faunus make faunus baby. Faunus and faunus make God knows what. And that's all I learned. Because it was all I paid attention to and all I can reflect and remember. But honestly, I'm glad that was an episode that happened because we really needed to hear that backstory. Before Sun and Blake actually landed on Menagerie. We needed to understand and know that. And it's like, I really, what I appreciate about the episode was that it wasn't it wasn't an episode that was full of hot drama and shit. It was just a nice world building episode with with a little with a little bit a little bit a little bit of plot forwarding, but a lot of world building because we needed that. We needed to meet Blake's hot milfy mom. We needed that. And Blake's awesomely cool dad because Blake's dad is the dad you know in the hood with a shotgun. Like, if you touch my daughter, I will put them shells straight through your chest. And I like that. I really, I really liked the real the real light nature of Blake's Bob because Callie is a really interesting character. And it's going to be interesting that I'm glad the show opened up this way so that we could learn about characters like Callie and Gira. Because the show needs that with its ever-expanding nature. The show needs that. I'm like, MVP of the damn episode was fucking son because holy shit. The boy, I'm like, I, there were parts of this episode like, boy, if you don't shut the fuck up, just be quiet. Don't say anything. I like, I get it and I understand because that, I'm like, as much as cringing as that was, and I think that was the point and that was great acting on Michael Jones' part is that you were supposed to look at that and like cringe for that boy because like, you look at him and you just like, all you can do is face palm and shake your head because we get it. We understand Blake is super hot and you're trying to impress her parents, but silence sometimes is the greatest word you can ever say. It's nothing. And in an instance like that, when all that's coming out of your mouth is incomprehensible bullshit and you're trying to impress the parents, that's for anything period to shit. Just the thing, though, the thing that made the episode with me was the introducing the introduction. I'm sorry, of course, that can finish because you could hear the bullshit coming out their mouth. Like we don't know shit about what Adam doing. Blah blah blah. This and we ain't down with that. Like, are you really are you really telling me that you gonna sit up here and be like we don't know shit that's going on, bro? Okay. I got you. I got you. Like, I'm like, they look like motherfuckers who tell lies, nigga, for the sake of telling them. So I'm just sitting up for like, no, nah, this is totally not going to work for me. Totally not at all. No, no, no. Totally not going to work for me at all. But it's going to be interesting from seeing the white fang from this other side of a more political angle because before then all we had was they they treat faunus like shit let's kill people but see now it's going to be because we are looking at this from the other side mainly from front facing from Gira is understanding the politics that have to happen when when you the boss and you gotta make boss level moves and boss decisions and it's going to be interesting because 
we now have Son and Blake to watch all of this unfold while we watch it both like Gary do what he do. You know, this the cuffs are coming. Gira better be extra godlike. It would not surprise me if Cali get in the mix too, but you can't, you can't. I'm like, let me quote something. You can't have all that buffness and not be able to do nothing with the buffness. You ain't, you ain't king of an island, dog, and you can't do nothing with that buffness, bro. It's not happening. It's not happening. You can't have all that buffness and be like, yo, we ain't gonna do nothing. This is going to be an interesting an interesting part of the story to really take a look at from this other side. And what the fuck was up with Tyrion at the end? I, that's, I'm like, I know what that's about. That's about my, um, that's about everybody's Uncle Crow and Auntie's That's a Raven. But what would he have to be looking for either Raven or Crow. Probably more Raven than Crow, but I want to know, like, why is he looking for the... I can kind of understand and get the gist of why he would be looking for A or B, pick your column, but I want I want to see what this is about. Because, again, because it's like, because if Tyrion is looking for Raven, like, I think he is, the show needs more of her, because she... Cause she she been on the she been on the scene for like ten minutes total through four volumes of fucking Ruby and shot a guy like so show me the money show me the money and I have been holding this back this whole review Play mom's a fucking mouth want to get that ass son want to get them guts. See, now I feel better. I've said that. I feel better now. Okay. Blake's mom is fucking hot. Like you were thinking it too, but I said it. So, so now I'm help. It's, this is help me help you help yourself. A triple the guy staple man. We've been doing this since like 2009. I thought you knew. <sighs> Overall, another great episode of Ruby. What? When the last time there has not been a great episode of Ruby? Please name me one. You can't. But that's it for me. It wasn't going to be that long. It was a short episode. It was a short episode. We got a lot of world building. A little bit of plot bullshit from Corsac and Finnick. Um, Blake's mom is fucking hot. Son should just shut his fucking mouth. And Tyrion's looking for aunties that's so raven, I think. That was the episode. That should have just been everything I just said. So how about that? Um, Before we get out of here, things are happening today. Not only here on the channel, but just in general with things that will happen that will then lead to things on the channel. So just be watching for all that. And I'm not going to say who, what, where, when, why, or how. The five W's and the H, man. Y'all need to watch Nick News W5, nigga. Y'all need to catch up. But, yo, we got plenty work coming. So how about that? So I'm finna get ready to absorb this work because that should be coming on any minute now. Any minute. Yeah. With that being said, I am, of course, the one and the only, the triple, the G-O-D. And this has been another episode of Triple the God Speaks on with that. We'll holler at you guys next time, man. Peace out. <laughs>